Hello, today we are listing top 10 highly rated TV series on Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we post new content. Number 10. Katla is an Icelandic crime drama series created by Baltasar Kormaker and Sigurdjian Jardinson. The series premiered on June 17, 2021 on Netflix. A year after the Katla volcano began to erupt, only a handful of people remained in the nearby town of Vik, lingering despite the suffocating ash. An ash-covered woman who seemed to have disappeared 20 years ago appeared in the village, just as she had then returned. Others covered in ashes who died in the past come to Vic, creating a paradox for those who know them and reviving the legend of the Changers. Through their interactions with Changers, the people of Vic are forced to find their own ways to deal with their past unresolved problems. This theory is presented by Katla tenderly and universally using characters simultaneously empathetic and cruel, and its message should resonate with the ubiquitous confusion that comes with loss, something that we all experience individually. It's rated 7 on IMDb and 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 9 Yellow Jackets is an American horror drama television series created by Ashley Lyle and Bart Nickerson. The show is dark, intense, captivating, complex, and there's a bit of humor mixed in here and there. Worth getting showtime if you don't have it. The film is about a high school girls soccer team that crashes in a plane in the Canadian wilderness. They have been there for a long time and must last. The film oscillates between the present and focuses on women in adulthood and looks back to the plane crash when they were teenagers. Melanie Linsky, Juliet Lewis and especially Christina Ricci stand out with their best acting. Very very solid show. You will need to see at least the three first episodes to get into the story and into the characters but the plot is super creative and intriguing, the characters are diverse and pretty well written, and when you start to get emotionally attached to them you never let go. Rated 100% in Rotten Tomatoes and 7.5 on IMDb it's a show worth watching. Number 8 the Devil's Hour is a British drama thriller television series created by Tom Moran, an executive produced by Stephen Moffat through his production company Hartswood Films. It is intense, complex, superbly acted thriller that had me hooked from the start. Jessica Rain and Benjamin Chivers as stressed out social worker Lucy Chambers and her oddly disconnected son, Isaac, are excellent and Peter Capaldi's Gideon will make you forget he ever played a Time Lord. There's so much packed into the first episode that you may be tempted to bail but, trust me, stick with it. Part of the fun is figuring out all the different genres it encompasses, horror, mystery, police procedural, psychological thriller, sci-fi. It's rare to find a show that takes familiar elements from multiple genres and combines them in such a fresh and interesting way, with a superb script and excellent acting. Rated 100% on Rotten Tomatoes and 7.7 .7 on IMDb it qualifies as a must-watch. Number 7. The Glory is a South Korean streaming television series written by Kim Un Suk and directed by An Gil Ho. An absolute impeccable masterpiece. The entire crew and cast did a phenomenal job. The acting was brilliant and the writing was splendid. There are so many jaw-dropping and thrilling revelations slash moments from the drama that could make you feel a range of emotions, contempt, sadness, empathy, anger and exasperation. So much was going on in each episode and each scene was unraveled silently and calmly but yet full of suspense. The way the protagonist was treated was heartbreaking and you could only hope that she and all the other victims involved get the happiness and justice that they deserve. The story was unfolded unexpectedly. Although the revenge plan was an excellent one, outside circumstances take place to a level you will not expect. This is definitely an eye-opener to all the bullies out there.
It's rated 100% on Rotten Tomatoes and 8.1 on IMDb. Must watch for series lovers. Number 6. Extraordinary is a British superhero comedy television series created by Emma Moran. It's set in a world much like ours, except everyone started getting superpowers about 10 years ago. They typically enter at age 18 and range from standard abilities such as flying, shape-shifting, laser eyes, and super strength to the most idiosyncratic. It also holds the top spot among millennial rom-com sitcoms, far ahead of her other eight-episode long shows about psychics on her Disney-owned platform streaming. Creator Emma Moran and her writing team regularly find highly specific jokes in a rich stream of fantasy elements. It's already been updated for a second season, opens in a new tab, so don't miss the eight short episodes, knowing that the final, and surprisingly moving, cliffhanger won't last forever. You can proceed safely. All in all, Extraordinary is an enjoyable comedy with some funny moments and an endearing story at its heart. It's rated 100% on Rotten Tomatoes and 7.8 on IMDb. Number 5. Red Rose is a 2022 British horror drama, based on the teenage angst experienced in varying degrees within a group of school leavers obsessed with their smartphones. The show is created by Michael Clarkson and Paul Clarkson and has a cast that includes Isis Hainsworth, Amelia Clarkson, Ellis Howard, and Ashna Rabru. A group of teenagers in Bolton, England, have their lives tormented as soon as one of them downloads an app called Red Rose. It is a heavy show, unafraid to use suicide and other themes in order to drive the story. Technology is an important, menacing theme in the plot, but it is approached with nuance to be extremely terrifying. Someone's life and personality being available to monitor simply through their phone is a horrifying possibility in this series. It's an enjoyable, fast-moving and you will be impressed by the tone of it, the acting and the pacing. It really does get darker and more twisted as it develops. It's rated 100% on Rotten Tomatoes and 6.4 on IMDb. Number 4 Poker Face is an American crime drama television series created by Rian Johnson. The series centers around Charlie Kale, a casino worker with an innate ability to detect lies, traveling across the United States on the run from a casino boss following a suspicious death. Along the way, she encounters colorful characters and solves homicides in a variety of settings. She is refreshingly blasé and world-weary, but with a spark of heartfelt human optimism that makes her tough and funny, yet sharp enough to be more than a match for those who underestimate her. It gives that old-school Columbo detective vibe with the inserts of today's new generation murder-slash-crime. The entire cast are rich with talent, the storyline is super creative and taps into various genres that everyone can get into, even if they don't realize it. The whole vibe of it's sort of like in the 70s-slash-80s, almost like a filter, for a modern-day series is magic and music is on point. It's rated 99% on Rotten Tomatoes and 8 on IMDb. Number 3. The Order is a young adult fantasy-slash-horror series available on Netflix. It is created by Dennis Heaton. It centers around Jack Morton, played by Manley. Jack is enrolled in Belgrave University, a college that is run by a clandestine, cult-like group of magic users called the Hermetic Order of the Blue Rose. Through a series of impossible trials, Jack attempts to become an acolyte of the Order, under the tutelage of his mentor Alyssa Drake, portrayed by Gray. But when werewolves begin to be seen around campus, Jack finds himself stuck in a war between the werewolves and spellcasters. After the first three episodes it kicks it up a notch by taking you into a world of secret societies while still focusing on a young college student trying to figure out what he is doing in life. 
Honestly the first thought we had of the show was it was going to be a typical love story where the guy gets the girl at the end. But that wasn't the case. It's rated 100% on Rotten Tomatoes and 6.70 in IMDb. Number 2. Rain Dogs is a British comedy television series created and produced by Cash Carraway. Its series premiered on March 6, 2023. It is a dark comedy that does not shy away from the harsh realities of poverty, prejudice, and social injustice. It also explores the themes of motherhood, friendship, sexuality, and identity with honesty and humor. The show has a punky and energetic style that matches the personality of its protagonist, who is always ready to fight for what she believes in. Rain Dogs has a fascinating, bittersweet and sometimes tragic naturalism. It reaches the depths of a unique friendship with provocative humor and finds that the highs also have dark downsides. It is a refreshing and original series that offers a rare glimpse into the lives of people who are often ignored or marginalized by society. It is also a moving and inspiring story of love and survival that will make you laugh out loud one minute and tear up the next. It's rated 100% on Rotten Tomatoes and 6.3 on IMDb. Number 1. The Last of Us is an American post-apocalyptic television series created by Craig Mazin and Neil Druckmann. Twenty years after the destruction of modern civilization, hardened survivor Joel is hired to bring 14-year-old Ellie out of an oppressive quarantine. What starts out as a small job quickly turns into a brutal and harrowing journey as the two must cross America and depend on each other for survival. It expands the game's universe, exploring characters and worlds in a new and natural way. Nothing out of place, nothing wrong, it's the original game boosted up to 11. It respects not only fans of the game but new audiences as well. First immerse yourself in this game. The producers brought one of the best video games of the past decade to the real world. Every aspect of this show, from the filming, editing, setting design, music, special effects, it all perfectly encapsulates the game's tone and atmosphere, and it all has real feeling. It's rated 100% on Rotten Tomatoes and 8.9 on IMDb.